I'm a community and economic developer, and I've been blessed to serve projects as far away as Shenzhen, China, to Manoa, Bahrain, in the last three years, the Feed Gary Plan, Faith Empowering Economic Development. Actually, many of you might have seen me on various stages across the community in this exact same dress. This is my travel dress. <laughs> How social connectedness is an economic development strategy. That is a mouthful. Complex ideas need simple messaging. In my 20 years of doing this work, one very simple metric was my prediction on whether or not economic development could be accelerated and achievable. Relationships. But it wasn't just the simple relationship of one-to-one. -one. There needed to be a strategy behind the relationship, a level of connectedness that was insurmountable that accounted for a continuous, intentional design. All of that, not simple messaging. So let's take it back. Let's talk about why we need to have an actual strategy that leverages social connectedness in economic development. So, Simple phrase, simple message. This one we all know, time is money. When I say time is money to myself, I think, let's go, Sonny, we gotta be productive. When I hear somebody else say time is money to me, arrogant much? Are you calling me lazy? And my favorite one, this is what I call the double chin clap back, Am I not worth your time? Where did this phrase, time is money, come from? And how does it connect to economic development? Well, history lesson. Time is Money was first published in 1748 by Benjamin Franklin in a book that was essentially a manual to young businessmen at the time to encourage them to create businesses. So young men at the time, and to encourage them to create businesses. Why? At the time, certain classes looked down upon work. And if you were of the leisure class or the nobility, you didn't work. But at the time, America was a very young country and needed the energy and the growth of businesses to create further economy. So this was actually a call to action by Benjamin Franklin to say, time is money is a tip, is a reminder to be productive and pursue life's work for the benefit of the country, now we interpret as the benefit of the community. 300 years later, time is money has evolved into something very ugly. It's evolved into greed is good. Madoff, Enron, the most recent FTX cryptocurrency scandal. These, These are, are dollars that, that were taken, taken from, from the community, community that, that no longer serves economic, economic benefit. benefit. So, so if time, time is money has some mixed, mixed messaging, messaging and, we and we definitely do not want to subscribe to greed, greed is good, we need, we need to, to rewrite the script. script. So, so walk, walk with, with me on this journey, journey to get back to how social, social connectedness is an economic development strategy. strategy. And, let's and let's just whiteboard. whiteboard. Yes, yes, I am conformed, conformed to this space, space right here. here. So we're, we're not going to actually, actually get out markers. markers. Did, did you see? I'm sorry. sorry. Brainstorm, Brainstorm with me? Oh, did, did you, you see connection? connection? Yes, connection. How do we define connection? Connection, connection instead of time. Because, because time is very linear, but connection is incredibly robust. And connection is defined as a common thread. Between you and I, there is a thread that pursues all of the ideas that we have. And as long as we have commonality on that idea, we're able to spread it and build it. Instead of money, how about currency? Currency defined as a medium of exchange. So instead of time is money, what about connection is currency? 
What if we could take our commonalities and determine a medium of exchange that further benefits our communities to prosper? Connection is currency is going to be our simplified messaging as we create all of these spheres of ideas and development and build together further economic development. Connection is currency. Awesome. Did we get there? How social connectedness is an economic development strategy. You're like, no, Sonny. You just gave me this wonderful connection as currency, but we didn't get there. OK, we didn't get there. Let's brainstorm some more. How do we get there? This is you. You are very happy. Go you. This is 24 hours in your day. You might sleep this much. It's pretty low. Quick math, it's only six hours. You might sleep this much. Great. American Medical Association recommended. You might sleep this much. I am very jealous of you. This is sleep. Everything else is your waking hours. Everything else is your waking hours. So in these waking hours, are we social? Are we driving these connection points? Back to the whiteboard. Got to connect these vocabulary words, right? So social is interactions. In that other time that you are awake, not on your phone and not sleeping, are we having social interactions? Connection, we learned earlier, is common threads. So if we put those together, social connectedness is interactions with common purpose. How many hours in a day do you interact with common purpose? Not just an interaction, not just sitting and spending time, but truly interacting with purpose. So now we've defined our first part of the phrase, how social connectedness is economic development strategy. You are really excited because you interact with purpose. Now let's think about, in that interaction, whiteboarding again, a strategy for social connectedness. How many of us have a date night? I'm not a marriage counselor, but this is not looking too good for this audience, OK? <laughs> How many of us go to some faith-based institution regularly? I just noted that everybody that doesn't have a date night goes to church. OK, got it. Roger. You might say that you have a marital strategy to keep married. You might say you have a faith-based strategy to keep being the good faith-based person that you are. What is your strategy for social connectedness? Instead of interactions, how do we go through and ensure that there is interaction with purpose? And how do we drive that to economic development? That deserves a formalized slide. Strategy for social connectedness. Now, when we look at strategy for social connectedness, we still have to get to that next point. Social connectedness, we already determined, was interactions with common purpose. Strategy, let's define it. A plan of action designed to achieve a major aim. Period, end of sentence. That is what strategy is. A common thread intentional interaction, a purpose, and a plan. Strategy for social connectedness equals purposeful interactions to achieve a major plan. Earlier, I shared that we are working on faith empowering economic development in Gary. And we've worked on this for three years. And it has miraculously and blessedly made it through multiple administrations to keep on being pursued. You again. The sleeps. 
What are the hours that you could spend aligned with purpose on a social connect and a strategy for economic development in Gary? What are the hours that you will spend on solar workforce development, on a cultural hub, on a culinary destination, on holistic healing within our community that provides dollars from child care support through to health and human services support. When we look at a connected strategy that relies upon relationships, your relationships in this room, your interactions with purpose, we will absolutely transform and accelerate the economic development for Gary together. Thank you. Oh, I don't know how to do this. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you.